Hey guys, Mystic Flower Sims here, and I am bringing you your next Pick Your Quarantine House. This is house number three, and it was a little hard to make without move objects on, I will tell you that much. So, this is the Quarantine House number three, Gardens and Gnomes. In this one you get a magical garden, you can talk to animals, except the gnomes keep eating your food. In The Sims, I put no stove. Um, they do have a tiny little refrigerator that came with uh, university, but um, they don't really have anything. I think I might have given them a microwave too. I guess we'll see. But um, so yeah, this build was uh, fairly challenging. It would have been a lot easier if I had to move objects cheat. But since I decided that I would not use that in any of my builds in this challenge, it was very difficult. As you can see here, I'm having trouble trying to figure out how I want the front of it to look because I was trying to get it to match the picture as much as I could, which was very hard. Um, I did choose this one door, but I got rid of it later because uh, I'm not sure that I like it very much. So yeah, um, the, the window is actually quite uh, easier to decide on because once I hit that Realm of Magic window, I was just like, yep, that's the window. So yeah, um, I played around a lot with the different uh, uh, wall textures. Well, I didn't really play around with it. I just uh, put that one up there and then I didn't like that one. So I change it a lot. And then I put that grass up there, that grass roof from uh, Island Living. And I thought that kind of like gave it the more like hanging, hanging plant feel that's on the roof in the picture. Which, like I said, it's hard to do if you don't have the move objects cheat on. I really missed it in this one. Like a lot. <laughs> So I'm still playing with the outside. Now I think I'm going to try... Oh, there I am putting the ivy up the sides of the cottage. Which I think I eventually... No, I might leave that up. Um, oh, here I am deciding that I don't like that front. And then I try a bunch of different things. And for some reason, I'm putting shelves up here. Oh, not yet. Oh, first I'm trying to figure out the the roof situation because there are like flowers on the roof in the original picture so I'm trying all different types of little bushes and flowers in there and I, I kind of like the way that looks but it's not quite right so I think I'm going to change it again later but yeah like I said <laughs> it would have been so much easier with that cheat on but um I figured it out I got it working pretty good I put all those in and you know, I kind of change things around a lot. I couldn't quite decide on the flowers, so I got rid of them all. I don't know why I pick them up and throw them away instead of using the little sledgehammer tool. It's kind of a waste of time, but that's how I do it for some reason. So I think this is my final decision on that. The flower arrangement at the top. I don't know, I changed it so many times I could be wrong. Now I'm trying to find something because there is something hanging down in front of the window. But I couldn't quite find anything to hang down like that. And I found that perfect little light. Um, I think I actually found a bigger one that I used instead. But I'm not sure. And here I am playing around with like fencing and trying to uh, see if I can get the fencing right. And then it looked almost like there was an archway leading to the door, so I was trying to do that. But the only way I could do that is if I moved the b door back. So here I am trying to move the door back, and I put the arch in, and I I don't know. I don't like it. So I just put it all back the way it was. So yeah, it just everything. And mind you, I don't like undo. I just fix it myself because undo would be just you know too hard so uh, this is a tiny build as you can see from the um, 
the thing saying how many spaces I've used. So you can use this as a tiny home. Uh, here I am putting the flower, the green on the flower boxes in the front, just to make them a little look a little like they actually have green hanging from them, since you know I couldn't really uh, do that. So, um, there is one, oh, I found that tree and I was just like, oh my god, this tree has to be out here. <laughs> so I just threw that in the back. I'm like, whatever, just slap that down. So yeah, I focused on this flower here. And as you notice, as I'm placing them, I click twice so that they don't look all uniform and it actually looks like flowers. So I, uh, what is it? Right click to turn the thing. So I turn it two notches each time. There I found a better door, so I replaced the door, and I realized there's a chimney. Now, there is no fireplace in this build, which is odd, but there is a chimney. I guess it's just for looks. And, oh, I found the climbing vine thing. I think that's from Romantic Garden stuff, but that worked really well for to represent how it was hanging down the front instead of, you know, being able to hang it down the front. So, yeah, oh, I found the bigger light now, so I'm putting the bigger light up there. And eventually, oh, I took a break there, as you can see by the transition. But let's see, what am I doing now? Oh, I changed that green to the wood, so that's cool. I didn't even notice that in the front in the window box or the flower boxes. I put wood down there instead of the green. Oh, here's where I'm playing with the shelves. Like, I don't know what I was trying to do with these shelves, but I think I wanted to place, like, um, like little planter boxes on them or something. I don't know. I, I really don't know what I was doing with this shelf. Yeah, whatever it was didn't work. So I just took them all down and I found, uh, I don't even think I put anything there. And here's where I'm realizing that, hey, maybe I can hang something on the, on the top part here. Oh no, wait, first I'm I don't like the color of the the stone, so I have to change the stone on the top because it just doesn't match the picture. I'm such a perfectionist sometimes, but um, so yeah, I did the floor plan a little bit, which was quite easy because it is a tiny home, so there wasn't really a lot of room to figure out a floor plan. Uh, I believe those are Realm of Magic. No, those aren't Realm of Magic windows, are they? Maybe they're Strangerville. They could be Strangerville windows. It's hard to tell. Okay, so here's where I decided to put half walls up and then put the ivy hanging from them because then it actually looks like it's hanging. And I really love the way this turned out. It looks super cute and it, I mean, it doesn't look exactly like the house in the quarantine picture, but it's pretty close. The only thing is when you're playing in actual gameplay, that ivy like stays there while you're playing. It's kind of annoying. So I eventually when I was playing it, I took it down so I could see what I was looking at. So here I am slapping a whole bunch of ivy everywhere all over the whole house. And oops, I covered up the door. Get rid of that. So why did I? Oh, I thought I could find a better thing than that flower. And then I decided, nah, you know what? That's probably the best. And then I decide to put the side walls of the planters up a little higher so I can put some ivy on them. And here I go, starting in the kitchen. I'm doing the Realm of Magic. I think I used a lot of the Realm of Magic stuff because it's a magical garden, so therefore it must be a magical house, too. Um, I think those are the ones that don't have matching upper cabinets, so I had to try and find one that did. So I'm trying like the vampire cabinets and I switch everything around to make it look like, you know, they actually match when they don't. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, so I decided I want a little corner cabinet or corner counter there just because it looks cuter. And I'm trying to um, put some like pinks and blues in at the beginning, I think. Oh yeah, I decide that one looks way better in the kitchen. I don't know why I like that in the kitchen. I like the other one better, but oh well. So here I am putting in, uh, I believe that's the blue swatch. I can't tell if it's blue or purple. It's kind of a little of both. And then, oh, change the floors up again. 
because that's what I do. I go back, I put something down, and then five minutes later I change it again. That's just how I build. Uh, I already changed the carpeting again. And now I have to find a couch that's big enough to cover up those flowers that are bleeding through. And, you know, I think I actually just don't even put a couch there anyway. But yeah, I hate when those flowers bleed through. I don't know why it does that, but whatever. So yeah, there's a cute couch. That's when, oh, and then I was like, maybe if I move these stupid flowers, they won't come through. But it still didn't work. They're still coming through. So yeah, um, trying to decide on the couches. I don't know why I didn't just like pick the Realm of Magic couch to begin with, since everything is Realm of Magic in this house. Uh, oh, I decided I wanted to do a fancy little uh, corner thing there. I don't know why. That looks weird. But yeah, so I decided to cover up those flowers with a table so they can eat because I realized they didn't have a table. Which I probably could have not given them a table since gnomes are going to steal their food anyway. But I guess I just like to tease them to thinking that, you know, they're actually going to be able to eat food. So... Um, yeah. I was just thinking about how, like, uh, the Sims would kind of die if they didn't have food. And, you know, people would too, but Sims die pretty fast if they don't have food. So, uh, I had to give them something. So I gave them that little, that little refrigerator. They can eat, you know, crappy university food. Whatever, you know, little cheese and crackers or peas or something. And luckily, I remember to save a lot of times in here because I have lost some stuff on, without saving. So always remember to save. Save as often as you can because you never know when this game is going to crash. So here I'm decorating the bedroom with the Realm of Magic stuff. And I actually, those bottles with the candles in it, those are so cute. And of course, I use the vampire carpeting because I just love the vampire carpeting. And I love the tree wallpaper. I don't know why. Those are just my two staple items. <laughs> and I love that bed too. That The purple and blue of the Realm of Magic bed. I just absolutely love. So, oh, I'm trying to find a rug for that room. And I'm like, ooh, I gotta get the Realm of Magic rug. I don't know why I tried that zebra print. That did not look good. <laughs> So yeah, um, base game rugs all around, you know. Don't need fancy rugs, let's just get the base game ones. And then, I love the way the vampire tiles match up with the um, jungle adventure tiles in that bathroom. I just think it looks super cute. So I think I went with all vampire bathroom stuff because it matched and it looked really good together. And then that realm of magic mirror. And then, here's where I decide... Uh, I don't like anything blue. I'm just going to make everything black and white and gray. Because that's how I roll most times. It's either blue or black and white and gray. And then I decided the, the little tiles on that one would look better than the bigger tiles. Here I am thinking maybe I'll turn it black. Eh, you know what? I don't know if I like it black. Did I leave it black? I might have left it that black and white. I don't know. I switch around so much. I must have left it that way because now I'm onto the garden. So I think I may have taken more time making this garden than I did making the house. Because I was trying to represent not only the magical garden, but the fact that animals could talk to you. Because how are you going to represent that in your build? So what I did... Oh, I found that lantern tree and I was just in love with it. I don't know. I was just like, if it's a magical garden, it has to have a lantern tree. And I love those garden boxes from City Living. They're in the debug menu. But um, I realized there that you couldn't copy them. You had to just put them out one by one. And, of course, we have to have... Um, dang it, why do I forget his name now? Patchy. Because Fatchy is magical, he comes to life, and it's a magical garden. So, you have to have Patchy. And here I am playing around with some of the sculptures. 
I knew I wanted the fairy one, but I could not find it. And while I was looking for it, I found some animal sculptures. So I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. I'll just put animal sculptures everywhere. So any animal or gnome sculpture I found, I put out there. And then I found those cute little planners. I was trying to put them up there, but it didn't work. So I think I didn't do it now, but I might put them out in the front later. So let's see, I was trying all different types of things and I didn't want Patchy to look like same old Patchy so I threw a different color swatch on him. And oh I moved the fairies, I put some fairies out in there. And I think right about now I'm deciding because that is a swimming gnome and a naked gnome that I wanted to have a fountain there so that it looked like they were like jumping out of the fountain. So there they are like. They're like hanging around the fountain like, yep, yeah, we just went swimming. And then there's a wise old owl statue. I mean, I just went crazy with the statues in this thing. Anything that looked like an animal, I just put it out there. And now I'm looking for gnomes. Or no, I'm still doing animals and gnomes, I think. But I've seen... Why am I changing that couch again? Oh, I'm making it smaller. Oh, okay, so... Uh, I... It clicked in my head just then that um, the one animal that Sims can actually talk to are the stuffed animals. So I was like, oh my god, I gotta put those in there. So I had to make the couch smaller so I could fit some stuffed animals in there. But I think here I am. I'm searching and searching for there is a gnome carrying a platter. And you can put things on the platter. So I'm looking through all of of this everywhere I'm like searching like gnome thing I went online and had to look it up to find this silly little gnome holding a platter and I realized it's not in with sculptures it's in with tables so that is a gnome table right there but I just oh my god it took me forever it was like I actually stopped the video I stopped a recording because I was just like I can't find this gnome so yeah I looked <laughs> I had to go on the internet and look it up to find where this gnome was located so that I could make it look like the gnomes are stealing your food so yeah oh and I put little bird houses cuz you know you gotta talk to the birds and that fountain was kinda cute so whatever just throw it on that side that side has like I didn't pay any attention to that side at all I just I have to build my garden here so I have to get fairy lights in there since we have the fairy statues and actually I love the way that came out with like it looks almost like a little canopy I had to move some stuff around in order to get it to work that way but I really like the way it looked and here I am to like trying different like oh let me see how this looks let me see how that you know it doesn't the best one is the one that you started with so there it is like a little tent almost out of fairy lights and I think I am coming to the end of the build now because it looks like everything is about done uh, what else am I going to put out here oh those are um, the hummingbird feeders I think it is I think I put some wind chimes in there too now I always go and I check into like how it's going to look in the gallery picture so that's why you see that pop up a lot of times because I want to see how it looks so yeah this is my build it's garden and gnomes on the gallery my gallery ID is flower f l o w u r if you want to download this cute little tiny house and I hope you enjoyed watching the speed build and if you did please uh, leave uh, uh, <laughs> please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more um, and even if you don't hit subscribe, I will still put more up there. So, you know, not clicking subscribe is not going to make me stop putting videos up. Just kidding. Anyway, have a great evening and enjoy the rest of these screenshots. There's the wise old owl. Anyway, so yeah, have a good evening. Thanks for watching and see you next time.